And President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are sharing a message of support for the U.S. women's national team. A sign on the White House North Lawn says, Go Team USA, we are all behind you. Let's bring in ABC News contributor, USA Today sports columnist Christine Brennan for more on all of this. Christine, the expectations for Team USA are sky high here. Uh, so let's talk about the team. There are some familiar faces and some new young talent. Who do you see as a potential difference maker on this team? I think, Diane, the, the veterans are so great. I mean, when you talk about Megan Rapino who's 38 now, talk about Alex Morgan, who's 34. I mean, these are the steadying influences that a generation ago, it was Mia Hamm and Julie Foudy, Brianna Scurry, Brandi Chastain. So you're seeing names that everyone knows. These are people who are so familiar with the pressure uh, and they're great leaders. You've got Julie, Julie Ertz in the back defending, that's huge. I mean, she's a veteran. There's enough veterans to then be sprinkled in with these incredible young stars and make no mistake, the reason that these young youngsters are there, Sophia Smith and, and Trinity Rodman and all of them, is because they are so good. This is not like, oh, let's just throw some kids out there. These are the best in the world. And so I think their energy, if one of them, for example, one of the, the young 20-somethings, get a goal right away, wow, watch the emotional um, just release, watch the delight. And kids like that, young players like that, can really lift a team that has a veteran aspect to it and really make a difference, especially as a long tournament wears on. Now, the U.S. takes on Vietnam tonight. It's their first time even making the World Cup. How significant is that milestone and what can we expect? What this shows is the growth of women's sports and women's soccer around the world. Uh, Vietnam didn't even have a national team uh, a, a couple decades ago. So when the U.S. is winning World Cups, Vietnam doesn't even have women playing soccer. And of course, you know, it's been a men's sport. The misogyny and the sexism around the world is, is just remarkable. And that's, of course, changing. But Vietnam is one of those eight now new teams that has allowed, been allowed to be in the tournament. They qualified for it. Used to be 24 women's teams. Now it's 32, exactly like the men, equality there as well. So for Vietnam, being there is victory. Um, and they obviously would like to put on a good show. I don't see them being able to compete uh, over those 90 minutes with the U.S., but we shall see. Uh, which teams could present the biggest challenge to the U.S.? Diane, look to Europe in particular. Germany, always there, two-time World Cup champ. Uh, you've got uh, France, you've got Spain, the Netherlands, Portugal, uh, these are all excellent teams. England, England won the Euro Cup last or the Euro uh, 2022 last year, and these teams uh, are actually fostered and uh, they field these players who are playing in women's pro leagues now. The men's, those great men's teams in Europe, are now also fielding women's teams and giving these women opportunity to play year round, and you know not only for their national team but also for their club team. All right, Kristen Brennan, always great to have you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.